Hi, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. I'm doing this little video because I've been in this workshop now for uh, about seven years and it's grown with the equipment and layout. I've changed it a half dozen times, if not more. And um, I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, but what I'm going to do is knock this section of wall out and expand my shop and give me some more room. So I've been wanting to do a shop video walk around, so I figured this would be kind of cool. Let's do a shop walk around video, show you what I got going now, and then right after that when I get the wall up, get it all walled back in, I'm going to do another one to show you what I came up with. Um, I got a whole bunch of things planned. I want to do a couple mobile carts. I've got my oscillating spindle sander down here, I got my thickness planer down here. Every time I need them, I gotta pick them up. I put them on my downdraft table look. So I gotta wheel that out. What I wanna do is I wanna put them on their own mobile carts with their little drawers so I can store stuff with them, um, give me more storage. It'd be easier to go, uh, switch from project to project real quick. Um, I have stuff like this um, miter sled right here, cross cut sled. I don't have a place for it. When I get done, I will. When I bust this wall out, it's drywall right now, but once we move it that way, it's going to be drywall on the other side so people coming into the basement can see what it looks like. And on this side, it's going to be OSB. That way I can screw and hang things from without worrying about finding a stud. Um, we're going to move this workbench. Might have to cut it and make it shorter because um, the way I'm going, I want to run some of my equipment out there too. And I don't know if I'm going to have wall, enough wall space. Um, I want to keep these cabinets. This is something my dad built in his garage when I was a kid. It's been around for as long as I know. I changed the color of it a couple times, but I figured that's the one thing that when I left, and he's like, I'm throwing them out. Do you want them? So I've kept them. I'll find a place for them. I'm not sure yet, but uh, they're just fun, and they always remind me of my dad's garage. So I'm going to grab the camera, walk you around the shop real quick, and make try to make this quick, and then after that, hopefully you'll see the new shot. Okay, hopefully I can hold this camera still enough. Um, from the same angle angle where I was at, let me back up and turn around here. This is my big wall. My, my shop is 25 feet lengthwise this way approximately, by right now it's about 15 foot that way. Um, got my tool chest, got my bandsaw, I got my joiner. Both of those are on mobile bases along with my drill press. Um, TV that never gets turned on. That is a small paint cabinet I have for my finishing supplies and my paint. Those are on wheels also so I can move it if I want. I built wood storage rack over there. Um, I like those little boxes because it keeps all my short little pieces. Uh, I have a lot of my larger pieces of wood down there like little panels but uh i don't those, those don't seem to stick around very long um of course you may recognize all of this but this is a set of cabinets that i put in for the shop a couple years ago and that's my mobile assembly table uh, i use that for just about everything and it has a nice solid wood top on it and uh, i just love that thing um, of course you got your doorway over here that's shop vac on a little base with my dust deputy. I think it's used on almost every project. Of course that's the corner that I was showing you before. Um, that bench is usually just cluttered. Right now I've been pulling things off of it so I can make some room. Um, I have all my clamps stored up into my floor joists just because they're out of the way and they hold everything. Uh, they hold their places real well. Um, I have my storage underneath that bench. That shop vac you see the, the workshop vac, that's hooked up to my miter saw. Uh, really helps on keeping the dust down. Uh, that miter saw is just a beast. I love that thing. I use it all the time. Um, nice sliding. Well, actually, it's an Axial Glide 12 inch miter saw. Um, that down there is my that little box you can see with the outlet. That's my downdraft table. I, I made it so it fit underneath my workbench and uh, that thing gets a lot of use out of it too. One of my favorite shop projects I've ever made. Uh, this is kind of my catch-all junk bench. A lot of screws and bolts end up end up over there. My air compressor, a couple other tools, and that's about it. Now we're back to the toolbox. Oh yeah, can't forget the the centerpiece there, the rigid table saw. 
uh, that I just finished the outfeed table on. Love that thing. Um, plan to get that some more room because when this wall comes out over here, I'll be able to go, you know, about 20 feet total. Yeah, about 20, 25 feet. It'll almost be like a square in here, 25 by 25. So I should be have a lot of room to go that way with it. So that's what I got right now going, and uh, we'll see what it looks like after tomorrow. All right, welcome back. This workshop expansion took just about two months. Actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, we got the basics, we got the wall up within a matter of two, three days. We got that all walled back in. And then it was just details, where's everything going to go, sort it out, run some electrical, run some new lights, and uh, build some cabinets. And uh, just last night I cleaned up the shop because I didn't want to see one, show you one that was all cluttered. And uh, trust me, this is going to be the cleanest it'll ever be. Um, I'm going to take you a walk around and show you everything extra I built, why I did what I did, and show you the, the big advantage. I'm loving this new shop. The extra space is tremendous. So um, I'm going to show you everything right now. All right, we're going to try freehand again. Starting from basically the same spot, um, that work area didn't change much, except for I was able to get the bench top tools out from underneath the bench. And uh, over here, this area stayed pretty much the same, except for I was able to get some other tools off from underneath that bench to give me some more room. And over here, the bandsaw was removed. I moved that to a different section of the shop. So in the future, if I need to, I can store something right next to the joiner. But uh, right now, I just gave my joiner a little more room. I was able to take my wood shelves. Um, I took all everything off of it, went through all the small scraps. I know there's a lot of people like like to save everything, but um, space is important to me. So I went through and got rid of the, the pieces of the wood that I didn't need and organized the stuff that I did want to keep. Um, big difference there. It's made that easier to go through. Um, this part of the shop stayed the same too. You know, you got your um, assembly table and cabinets. Now, over to the new part. That wall that was there um, originally with the cabinets on them got moved out. This allowed me to change where I positioned my table saw. So where this table saw is now, I have the ability to cut just about anything on it. Um, I have a lot of space, something like 16 foot from one side to the next before I hit workbenches. So I'm able to cut anything and I have plenty of room for it. Love that. This has just been tremendous. Now I can keep my outfeed table open at all times and uh, uh, now it just saves me a lot of time of setting up. And over here we have the reason for the whole workshop expansion was a my first lathe. It is a Nova 162444. Um, I just that was just the tool that put me over the limit of space, and I needed to do something, and that's why I knocked down the wall. Um, you can see this line on the floor, and this is where the old wall used to be. Not that that's important, but um, they carpeted after the wall was up of the previous owners. Um, if you remember that crosscut sled was very large and I didn't have a place for it. Well, since I was able to move that workbench out, this fits nicely at the end of my miter saw workbench. And uh, it's out of the way, but very convenient and close to the table saw. Now over here was the old um, workbench that I had. I just moved that straight back to the new wall and underneath it I built a new a rolling rolling cart but the reason for the cart with the full extension drawers and so I had a place to store um, the lathe tools. You know, a new tool with the lathe, new lathe tool started taking up space, needed a place to put it somewhere so I built a cart. I think I'm going ahead and I'm going to put some strips along that plywood because it looks kind of ugly. I know it's just a shop cart, but it's kind of bothering me right now. Um, I built some more small cabinets, uh, just like the other section, so I can store the ugly stuff that I have around the shop. Put a window in. Most people make fun of my window, but I like it. Um, 
let's see now over here we have another cart built for that thickness planer and this one again is on wheels also so it's mobile now I don't have to have it stored underneath of my workbench and I can move it around really like that again thickness planer can be heavy so it's a lot easier to move stuff around um, oh back over at the cabinets I you might remember from the first section where I had the cabinets on the wall that were the ones my dad built and I wanted to keep them fortunately I couldn't find a big enough section of wall space to keep them I just broke down and decided I had to get rid of them but what I did do is I kept the hardware off of them I kept the hinges and the handles so at least part of it was saved and uh, it's also on the cart down there so I kept the hardware had to get rid of the actual cabinets themselves now this is the section of the shop which is behind my cabinets I wasn't gonna knock down this wall and remove the cabinets left that wall and just decided to start storing tools on the other side and make it a workstation um, I also came across a lot of walnut wood this year um, odds and ends small pieces that I picked up and this area makes it very nice for storing this walnut and any other long boards that I have I also have my cutoffs for my sheet goods stuck back there in the corner for now. Um, one more thing that was put together here was another mobile cart for the sanding station. It of course has a drawer too because these sanding stations have all kinds of sleeves and stuff in them and this is a convenient place to store them. That one should have closed. Um, bandsaw got moved over here which you know it doesn't need much room to work with um, I'm usually cutting small stuff on it so it fits perfectly and surprisingly this is the perfect perfect place for my dust vac shop vac and dust deputy I have a long enough hose on it uh, 16 or 18 feet of hose that by leaving it right there I can operate it with this remote control unit by fast cap I can leave that on my wrist and I can have that hooked up to the table saw or pretty much it makes it all the way to the joiner too. Just have to hit a button and I don't have to keep rolling the cart around. That was the biggest issue with the other section of the shop was it was so small that I had to roll the shop cart, the dust deputy, the shop vac and everything so close to the equipment that I would end up having to get skinny and try to get around the table saw and bump into this. Next, I'm bumping into the thickness planer, and it was an inconvenient workspace. But now, as you can see, I have quite a bit of space and areas to move around, and I don't have to worry about bumping into things. So this has been just a tremendous um, expansion project that I've been wanting to do for years, and it's actually turned out much better than I thought it would. There's my workshop expansion. Um, it's just what I needed. I expanded the shop by about a third. Uh, so it was long-winded, but there was a lot that I wanted to show you. Um, I bought, built some carts, moved some things around, optimized my space, and that's the key. I wasn't so worried about workflow because this isn't a production shop. I wanted to maximize my space so I wasn't tripping on things. And when I come down to the shop, it's got to be fun. If I'm tripping over things, it's not fun. So um, I'm, I'm tickled pink right now, and this is the way the shop's going to be. I'm sure it's going to change over the next couple years and maybe I'll do another one to show you the changes but that was a dramatic change knock down a wall build it out and um, hope you enjoyed this if you got any questions let me know um, come over to the forum board ask some questions because I'm always changing the shop around and sharing it there um, but until next time I'm John from workshopaddict.com thanks for tuning in bye